have a dream. One day right now in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. Hello. I reach out to you with hope. The hope that you will take this message to the larger public. You are among the best journalists in this country. You have the power to let everyone know what happened to me. This is my story. My name is Patabiram. I'm a software engineer at the famed Mega Corp Technology. I landed in the United States in 2008 to chase the American dream. My ticket to prosperity was a piece of paper we called the H1B visa. Years have rolled by, but the dream still remains a broken dream. In all my working life for various companies, I put an honest hard work. Yet I have failed over and over again. I thought about returning, but there was too much to lose. I am still devastated. and missing the chance to meet my mother one last time today i am at the crossroads of my life an empty broken worthless life and i see it slipping into an endless pit of gloom my accent was funny to them my choice of words my diction my limited vocabulary the first time i was called a brody something stirred deep within brody what a cruel word and oh by the way who knew body odor can be such an ordeal yes i sweat a lot them leaving a deodorant on my table was fine but they wanted to rub it in further so they kept a mask near it i was furious i wanted to get back at them so i put in 16 hours a day for several months and it earns me an employee of the month They said you just got lucky. It was a luck that got me the award. Just sheer hard work. Then they stuck a go back note. That was the last straw. I was mocked at for being a vegetarian owing to my religion. So they decided I deserve a steak as my birthday cake. Worse, they pasted a picture of a cow. That crushed my soul. Nobody really cared for a guy who was falling apart. Nobody simply cared. I was just a brown stain on their thick skin. When our deserving colleagues scored promotions and perks, I wilted with it. so i knocked but the door was always shut on my face once i had a family to go back to but when my little family needed me the most i was never there for them i was busy working and today i have lost my family too my world 
has been destroyed. I tried antidepressants. They don't work on me anymore. Enough! Enough of this. I was treated like worthless scum, incapable of doing anything. Yes, indeed, they're big. They think I cannot rebel against their might. So I said to myself, I can no longer take this. I have made my decision. This is my answer to them. My own revenge for what they did to me. From a company that has sucked my soul out. From this world that has been so unfair. From this life that has been trampled by racism. I resigned.